Okay, class, we now are talking on taste. Just a little brief discussion of taste. Now, taste and smell go together. Remember, if your smell is off, your taste is off. If your taste is off, sometimes you smell. But particularly, if your smell is off, your taste is off. Receptor are, are taste buds, okay, found on the tongue, but also inside the cheek, too, some, okay. Surface bears papillae, filiform, and this is what we saw before, right here, these, these type. Now, this one did not have taste buds right there, okay? We already talked about that, okay? We showed the location in this drawing of where they are. Here's showing the circumvallate. Those are taste buds there. Okay, structure of a taste bud. Let's look at that now. Okay, it's almost like an ear of corn, you know, with the husk. All right, what you got are these supporting cells right here. This will be like the husk. So you got a, fl it's flash shaped, 50 to 100 epithelial cells. The basal cells you have down there, there's a basal cell. And then you got the gustatory cells, the actual taste cells. The, micro, the gustatory hairs project through the taste pore. They protect to the taste pore. Let me come here. Okay. So these are these gustatory cells right here, which are kind of in the middle there. And they project through that taste pore right there. Right there. Okay, and see, here's the nerves hooking to them there. Here's the basal cells there. Okay. The basal cells are dynamic stem cells. And then here's those gustatory cells right there. Okay, the t actual taste cells. Okay, class, here is another picture of this. So here's a picture there, flash-shaped, 50 to 100 epithelial cells. The basal cells, that's what it's hooked to. Now, let's look at here. See, here are the afferent, the sensory neurons hooked to those cells here. The basal cells are stem cells to replace these here. The gustatory cells are these, and they have, going through the taste pore, are those gust those microvilli? The microvilli are hairs that pr pr protrude through the taste pore to the surface. There, see all of them are clustered, and what happens is the chemicals come in here that you have and activate this and send the signal there. Okay, let's go further. So there are five basic tastes: sweet, sour, salt, bitter, and umani. That's kind of the meat shape there, the meat taste, I mean, right there. So the, so any taste is a combination thereof. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and your mommy. Okay? In order to be tasted, a chemical must be dissolved in the saliva, must touch these hairs. Binding of the food depolarize the taste cell membrane. Release neurotransmitter, which would be down here, and initiates a generator potential that elicits action potentials. Okay? The graded potential. The stimulus energy of taste causes gustatory cells depolarization. Sodium influx into the salty taste directly causes depolarization. Okay? Sour by opening cation channels. G proteins, gusducin, in sweet, bitter, and umami. So each of them, not, I'm not going to have you to memorize, each of them works a little differently. Salt, salty taste does that. Sour does this here. So in other words, it's a different as to how each one of them works. Okay. Just know that it is differences as to how those those different taste types, those five taste types do it. OK. 
Okay. Cranial nerves seven and nine carry impulses, okay, to the to solitary nucleus of the medulla, okay, seven and nine, okay. The anterior part of the tongue, this anterior part of the tongue right there, you can see going up, right, that's, that's coming off that facial. The posterior is coming off that glossopharyngeal. So the posterior tongue is nine and the anterior is seven. The posterior is nine and the anterior is seven. P-N-A-S, P-N-A-S, let's say. P-N, posterior nine, anterior seven. P-N-A-S. That goes to the gustatory cortex, which is in the insula, that, that, that insula lobe, okay? Influence of other, taste is 80% smell. Remember I mentioned that? Thermal receptors, mechanical, no cinnamide, also influence taste. Temperature and texture enhance it. So we have a gustatory nucleus that's where it interprets it, but it's close to where that, it's close to, in some ways, it's connected with the rind encephalon, which is the sm which is the sm smell area. Okay. And so what did we say? PN, posterior, nine. Right? Posterior, nine, anterior, so PNAS. Here's the, here's the afferent signals coming in. So once the chemical dissolves, it would elicit neurotransmitter, which would give a generator a graded potential that would then go down and then finally go into the nervous system here. So that's how you taste, okay? That's how you taste. And then there are actually sections of the tongue where better taste occur. Okay, sections of the tongue where better taste occurs. Now, if you look at this taste map right here, this taste map, then bitter is way back here where more of the circumvallate are. See, bitter is kind of like, that's the one you don't want to get into your throat. So it's, so, see, so salt, sweet is on the tip. So if you put sugar way back here, you took the sugar just a little bit, you wouldn't be able to taste it because you went back here. Bitter though is right before you go, because see, that make you throw up if it's too bitter. See, back here is sour. Right there. So in other words, the more noxious stuff is back here, so you don't take it in. And then you can see, you can take that and compare it to this to show where a lot of this is. So see on the tip right here, you have these fungi form. See a lot of, so that fungi form would be associated a lot with that sweet stuff right there. Okay, just showing you kind of a map. There are different areas. Okay. All right then. So that kind of talks about taste.